LNG exports were examined was in 2018 when LNG export volume towards clean energy. And yes, we'd like to have cleaner oil production as well. Uh, the gentleman from Louisiana Reserves, the gentleman from South Carolina Reserves, the gentleman from New Jersey is recognized. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as it may consume. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I have to correct the record, not only about um, my colleague, Mr. Scalise, who I uh, very much respect, but also some of the other comments that have been made. Uh, reference to the president, uh, to, to Joe Biden. Uh, bottom line is that uh, President Biden, like myself, believes in an all of the above energy policy. Uh, in fact, there's a record production of oil uh, during President Biden's administration. More oil has been produced in, domestically here in the United States during his administration than any other president that we've had. Um, the point is that we would like to move towards clean energy, and yes, we'd like to have cleaner oil production as well. Uh, but it doesn't mean that we're not in favor of more production. In fact, there is more production. Now, many of my Republican colleagues have referred to President Biden's recent action to pause LNG experts as a ban, and that is simply not true. The Natural Gas Act requires the president to determine whether or not new LNG exports are in the public interest. If the president and his administration feel like they do not have sufficient information to make that determination, then it's their responsibility and duty under the law to take time and gather that information. Now, even Politico highlighted the Republican misinformation machine in an article this week, and I quote, they say that other Republicans have settled on a more blunt strategy, falsely portraying the pause on new permits as a ban on exports. Thanks to already issued permits, exports are expected to increase rapidly in the coming years. And that's unquote. So once again, they are, the Republicans, are peddling mis misinformation to prop up their polluters over people agenda. The Biden administration pause this makes sense. It's common sense. The last time the economic impacts of LNG exports were examined was in 2018, when LNG export volumes were one quarter what they currently are. The last time the greenhouse gas impacts of LNG exports were examined was 2019. And we know so much more now about emissions from gas leakage in the transportation, liquefaction, and regasification process. It would be foolish to review 2024 LNG exports now without looking at 2024 analysis and data, which we do not have. So, frankly, it would have been massively, massively irresponsible for President Biden to approve further exports without re-examining how the Department of Energy was making its determination. And I thank the President for taking the action he did, and I look forward to the results of, the, of this review. I want to correct one more thing. You know, many of my colleagues have referred to radical environmentalists. I don't think it's radical to ask what's going on in people's ability to breathe. When the Clean Air Act was passed, it basically was passed because we wanted to make sure that people would be able to breathe clean air. It's not radical for me to try to correct air quality, and if there's pollution out there, to try to correct it so people can breathe. But all the health impacts of not being able to breathe clean air, asthma, the list is so long. So again, all we're asking, and all that this administration has asked, and all the Democrats have asked, is that we continue to clean up our air so we can breathe. That's it. That's all we're asking for here today. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I would reserve the balance of my time. The gentleman from New Jersey reserves. The gentleman from South Carolina is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. You know, I love to, to take time and gather that information. Now, even Politico highlighted the Republican new permits as a ban on exports. Thanks to already issued permits. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I yield myself such time as it may consume. The gentleman is a record production of oil uh, during President Biden's administration. More and regasification process. It would be foolish to review.